Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. So right away, and we're back to the DeLorean now. We've got issue 137 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Now if you saw the last issue, you know that there's a hell of a lot to do in this one. Check this out. Just this page, look at all the parts we've got. Some of these parts, if you have a look here, are on a sprue. So you're going to need your sprue cutters on this to get these cut off. Uh, by the look of it, I had to read through it. We're not going to need any glue. But there is a lot of things being slotted into slots and put into here with no glue. I don't know how they're going to hold. We'll see that when we come round. Uh, it's all going to mean that we're going to need the hood box. This was the hood box from the uh, previous issues. That's what it's looking like at the moment. Um, so we're going to put all of these details in there. And by the end of it, we're going to have just this section here. It doesn't really look like much has been added, but... By the look of it, there's hundreds and hundreds of things to do in this issue. And then we're back to doing the railway tie-in. <laughs> so, <laughs> issue 138 is going to be a hard one. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, as you can see, this is everything that we've got in the uh, pack. Absolutely loads of things. And what I think I'll do, I'm not going to take the sprues out or anything yet. I'm going to take the bits out one at a time as we need them. Otherwise, we're going to get confused. And the first things we need... Uh, this section here they don't actually give these names so uh, we've got this piece here and we've got this black piece looking just like that here so all we're going to do is as you can see we've got a lug here just going to fit on the top of this so it fits together just like that and creates a piece looking just like that not bad huh uh, once we've got that yeah, it's going to go onto a tray now the tray is this blue sort of thing here with holes at the top and then when we put these on we're going to be screwing this in now the first part is just going to be going into this hole here so when it's in it's going to look just like that now this is going to be held into place with some NP screws and luckily enough in this issue we have all the screws needed that's provided they've actually sent us QP AP and these ones that I'm opening now which are MP. Now these are quite tiny screws and I'm still using my PHO screwdriver on them. If they get too tiny, I'll have to change that to a uh, another one. <laughs> so making sure we put it in the right way, the lug is actually gonna go in the very outside hole there, which means that we've got a hole ready, as you can see there, to accept that screw. So we'll put that one in and then that is the first detail complete, looking just like that. Now, if we bring over the box here, this detail is just going to go over the top of the battery box there. So this hose that's coming off here is going to be pointing in towards the box. So this is just going to sit on top just like that. And it's a case of pushing it down so it fits lovely and tight. OK, step five, we're going to need another little tray. And it's basically this one with four holes at the top there. I'm going to put that down because it's a tiny little piece here. Now what they're going to need is we're going to need some pieces coming up through the bottom there and we're going to be attaching them with pieces that come through the top there. Now all of these pieces are clear. So the ones that are coming through the bottom are labelled up on here as F61. I don't know if you can see that okay. And the ones that are going to go over the top of it are labelled up F or F45. Which is probably best to show you on that camera there. So what we're going to do is get me sprue cutters. And we'll uh, cut one of these off and I'll show you how these get attached. So here's the first one off here. I'm going to cut off one of the F45s, which on this sprue are the bigger ones here. There is some smaller ones on the sprue, so they're not all the same number. So it is worth checking that. So the way this is going to go, and don't lose them because they are clear, we're going to push one in through the bottom there, holding it with our fingers, our fingers? Have I got your fingers? We're holding it with my fingers. And then we're going to push that together. And it's a very tight fit. You can see why it doesn't need glue now. So that it is a nice tight fit. There we go. And that's that into place. Just like that. God, that's tiny, isn't it? And we're going to repeat that with the next four holes, three holes. And when it's finished, it's looking just like that. Now, I don't mind telling you, as you can see, I have got some that are loose. But they're not going anywhere. So uh, I am going to keep that like that. I'm not going to glue them in down or anything like that. Because I said they are secured in quite quite tight there. But that is those valves completed. Now what we need to do is bring over the hood box again. Because these are going to go right next to this 
uh, lights that went over the top here. And basically they're gonna go into the two points which are here and here. It might be also worth noticing, you see this part here? This is the part that was missing off the instructions in the issue two issues ago. That's where it goes. So if you still got that line around and they haven't, they wonder where it is, it goes right there. So I thought I'd just point that out to you now. And these are gonna be secured into place with QP screws. Now, as you can see, these are absolute tiny. So I am gonna be using my smaller PH screwdriver, which are PHOOs. They're gonna be secured in from the top. So I'll get these in first. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. That's the first one in. Now the second one is actually really tight between that light, like you can see that, and the grill. So getting this in, again, could be a bit of a challenge, but I've managed to get it in first time, which never, ever, ever happens to me. That's in nice and tight. It does give me a chance then, whoops, to straighten it out. I think I am gonna put a touch of glue just on that piece there because I'm not happy as it sits. So what I've done, I'm just gonna to touch this into a bit of glue. It's never gonna come out again. Put that on where I want it. Line it up good. And I'm happy with that. And that's how that looks. Once again, we put this to one side now because we're going to be needing to bring over another cage, which is this great big one here. And look at all the slots and holes we've got on that one. Absolutely tons of the beasts. And what we're going to be doing is exactly the same sort of thing. Uh, this time we're going to be using some different ones. We're going to be using the F63 sprues, which look like that on the sprue. We're going to have to cut all of them off. And then on the caps for those, we're going to be putting the F51s which look just like that. So, exactly the same thing. So we're gonna get these cut off and we're gonna fit those into the, oh God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes we're gonna be putting these into, just along this section here. So let's get these cut off. So we've put the base in and I'm telling you now, this is incredibly fiddly. Incredibly fiddly. And that's the first one in, just like that. Now I'm gonna repeat this the next seven times just in these holes, four at the top, three at the bottom. Now don't mind telling you, that was so hard. Once again, they are all wobbling all over the place. I might have to get the cocktail stick and just glue these down so they're nice and rigid. Uh, I'm believing that we're having to do it this way so this projects light from the bottom there through to the top. Uh, that's why we've got a clip system rather than just gluing these directly on top. Once we've done that, the next part, we're gonna need part F62, which is on this sprue. It's the last one left on it. It's a thicker one than the uh, ones we used to. So I've just cut that off. And on top of it, we're gonna have another clear section, which is bigger. This one's labeled F49. So I'll just get that cut off as well. And once again, through the bigger hole here, we're gonna put the little tab under there and then just slot this over the top like that so that's in place now looking like that quite fiddly isn't it <laughs> okay the last one to go in there is just this part that we've got left which is a uh, an f61 it's the last one we've got on the sprue there so i'll cut that off and over the top of it we're going to have f50 which again is on its own looking just like that so once again cut that off Feed this part through the bottom here. Oh, it's fiddly. It's very, very fiddly. <laughs> Someone did warn me about this issue, I have to say. I should have had heat for it. Look, I've got bits falling off now. That can't be good. And then we'll get this in. So there we go. That's what that's looking like now. And this is going to be going into the holes just from here to here. So it's running sort of like in an L shape to what we've just done there. And it's gonna be going in this way. As you can see, we put this in now. This is once again gonna be put in with the QP screws. So again, I'm loading one of these up. 
These are tiny, tiny screws, these ones. And I'll get one of them in place. That's the first one in. Second one's going to be <laughs> a little bit tighter because it's hidden right next to the battery box there. So I'm going to be very quiet while I put this one in. And there we go, that is that all into place there. Now, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just straighten up some of these just so they are facing completely upright. As you see, they can still woggle around at the moment and I don't like that. And to do that, all I'm doing is getting a cocktail stick and I'm just putting a little lip of glue just under there, pushing it down onto the thing, onto the cage. And that's normally enough just to keep it in place there. I'm doing that for every one that I think is just far too wobbly. <laughs> Shouldn't be having the wobbles. See, so it's looking better already. Just going to do these ones that are a little bit more overzealous. There you go. And I'm sure, as you can probably agree, that's a lot better than it was. Hell of a lot better. <laughs> okay, in the last parts now, we're just going to grab this little brown section here, looking like that from this side, and that from the top, and we've got two black sort of capacitor hoods which are just going to fit over the tops of these these push down again you can glue them in if you want because they're not held in i mean they're held in enough that they're not going to fall out but you can easily take them out and these are actually going to go just in the space that we've got here just like that and it's going to be secured from the other side there with ap screws god we haven't seen an ap screw for a while ap screws the most common screw of this build <laughs> So, get them in place. Now I'm interested to see what this is going to look like with the lights on. Now we've got a lot of things which are going to be mirroring the lights through them. I want to know how it looks. So, once I've got this last screw in, just like that, we're going to light it up. But first I'll show you how it looks. That's how it's looking. Then we'll get this switch clicked on. Use my screwdriver for that. And then I'm going to turn the lights down. And there we go. That's how it's looking at the moment. Pretty cool. <laughs> and I'll just show you on the side camera as well. Just so you get a good idea how that looks. And there you go, that's another issue done. And as I said, in the next issue, we've got a railway tie. Not much to do in that issue. That was a lot fiddlier than I thought it would be. And uh, I do heed your warnings when you did tell me that you're going to have some trouble with this. Um, I really don't know why we couldn't just glue those things on top of the cage and not have the things underneath. Initially, as you heard, I thought it was so it can project light through. But those little tiny valves don't do that. So uh, I think that was just making things difficult for the sake of making things difficult. Uh, but you are going to need either a magnifying glass or small fingers to get that one done. That was a bit tough. Anyway, so issue 138 is going to be out in the next few days. I'm still playing catch up with these. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.